first impression on things TikTok made me buy part one. So this is the Revlon oil absorbing roller. I got this on Amazon. It's $13.46, low key expensive. Let's see what we are working with here. Very interesting looking. For this video, I'm going to test it out twice. Once on my bare skin right now and once after wearing foundation for like over 12 hours. So let's give this a try on my nose. First of all, Y'all, that is my oil sitting on this roller. That is so nasty. This makeup has been on for 15 hours. So we're putting it to the real test right now. <gasps> I'm shook. All right, let's try it in like this area. Wow. That? We might have did some. Let's talk about Amazon things you didn't know you needed, Beauty Room Edition Part 2. First up is this mini fridge, which stores my skincare perfectly. You can also throw some little snacks in here, it's adorable. Then we have this acrylic organizer, which stores my sponges, q-tips, and cotton rounds. It was pretty inexpensive and looks very sleek on my desk. I have a million and one brushes, and this brush holder was a game changer. It rotates, so it makes them very accessible when I'm doing looks. If you do soap brows, trust me, you need this. It's such a messy thing to do, but this keeps it really clean. And lastly is this tissue cover. It's marble, and it just helps my desk look more cohesive. All the links are in my bio. This is one of my very first Amazon finds, and I am still in love with it. It is a tea infuser. So you're going to get your favorite loose leaf tea, or it can just be simple Lipton tea in a bag or whatever you use. You're going to get hot water and just fill it up. This is actually the 28 ounce one, and I usually fill it about halfway, but they also sell different sizes. Once you have it filled up with hot water, you can then add whatever sugar you want to it. I just put Truvia on top of mine, and then you're just gonna let it seep. And while it's seeping, I go ahead and just fill my cup up with ice. And then it's literally as simple as just putting it right on top of your cup. And then it just comes right out the bottom, holding all of that tea behind. And then look at that, makes the best cup of iced tea. If you don't want to put it over ice, you could also just do it hot. But it is super easy to use and the cleanup is super easy as well. And here's a screenshot of the item from Amazon. Hey guys, since my video about the Tinco i4 vacuum mop went viral and now it's sold out everywhere, I wanted to compare it to the newer version, which is the Tinco i4 III. So here's me showing you the original one, which I still absolutely love. It's such a time saver that it vacuum and mops at the same time. Now the Tinco i4 III just got delivered, so I wanna try it out for you guys for the very first time. My initial reaction is that I love the charging station, the digital display, and you can definitely tell it's a little bit more heavy duty. All right, and just like the original, I absolutely love it. They both would be getting a five-star rating from me. Look at all that stuff that it picks up. Absolutely disgusting. Okay, so now for the true test, that self-cleaning mode. So the original took about 45 seconds, and this is how it left the brush and the inside. As you can see, the brush is clean, but you still need a good wipe down. With the iFloor 3, the actual self-cleaning mode was a lot longer, and look at how clean it left that whole system and the brush. Which one would you guys choose? I was sick of messy toothbrush cups, so I decided to put them in the drawer. I got this cute floral contact paper on Amazon. Just cut it to size and press it down. This is actually a utensil holder for your silverware, but it matches my vanity, so I ordered it on Amazon for about $10. I gave it a quick wash, and the gel inserts come out so they clean even easier. I thought this was such a brilliant hack. What do you think? I know feet are disgusting, but this tool is the best. It works wet or dry. Look at all that dead skin, it comes off in seconds. Give your feet a nice little bath with Epsom salt and essential oils and they feel brand new. Amazon favorites, part four. This mini vacuum cleaner is amazing and it can pick up all of the crumbs left behind on your couch or on your dining table. This little remote control holder is really easy to install. You don't need any hardcore tools. And now we don't lose our remote controls. This set of wooden spoons to stir my drink or taste test my food. Amazon favorites, part five. I absolutely love this white basket. I love the way it looks and I've used it for many different things. I own two of them. Currently this one is in my kitchen holding my cutting boards and some plates. 
This kitchen rug has been a favorite. I really like the subtle design and I've been using this rug gripper to keep it in place. These floor cushions are so comfortable. I love the way they look and oftentimes my girls and I will have picnics on the floor and we'll just put our food and drinks on them. Things that I didn't know that I needed from Amazon, but TikTok made me buy it part six. So I found this 4-in-1 travel dispenser. I thought this was a great product because in case you guys do travel or whatever it may be, you can actually carry all your essentials that you need, like your shampoo, conditioner, body wash, you name it. All you have to do is twist the top and then you dispense what you need. And the great thing is it comes with labels. That's awesome. Also comes in different colors.